Hello, I'm Dr. Chowdhury, and welcome to FSMB Spotlight. Our guest today is Dr. Donald Melnick, President and CEO of the National Board of Medical Examiners and an acknowledged expert on the science and practice of physician assessment. He has published countless research articles in the peer-reviewed medical literature and has traveled widely around the world. Both an internist and pharmacologist, Don is a graduate of Loma Linda University School of Medicine in California and was Chief of General Internal Medicine at Marshall University School of Medicine in West Virginia. He was appointed NBME's President and CEO in 2000 and was instrumental in efforts that led to the creation of the USMLE, which is co-managed by the FSMB. After more than 30 years with the NBME, Don is stepping down as its president in the months ahead. Don, welcome. Thank you, Hank. It's my privilege to be here with both you as a friend and with the Federation as a, the longest and most significant collaborator the NBME has had. Likewise, thank you. What prompted you to get involved with the NBME and the esoteric world of physician assessment? Well, Hank, when people ask me about that, I often think of the movie Serendipity because my move to the NBME was a serendipitous short-term move that was really um, a desire to move my family closer to my wife's and my extended families in the, on the eastern seaboard. And it was attractive to think about a, a two-year um, externally funded position as a research program director with no night call uh, at a very busy part of my career. And that's what led me to go for what I thought would be a two-year stint working on research on computer-based testing, uh, consistent with my hobby interest in information technology at that time. However, it didn't take me very long to discover the power of the NBME. So, Don, as you stepped down as uh, NBME's president after more than 16 years in that role, um, among the many accomplishments uh, that you will certainly be recognized for is the creation in 1991 of the USMLE program, uh, which brought together for the very first time the FSMB's flex examination and the NBME's examination, enabling uniform testing of U.S. medical school graduates and international medical school graduates. Um, I know my predecessor, Brian Galusha, whom you know very well, was a partner in that effort. Uh, two years ago, I was honored uh, to be with you uh, when we formally signed a renewal of that historic agreement on behalf of our organizations in a small ceremony at uh, NBME offices in Philadelphia. Uh, like the Comlex USA, the USMLE certainly means a lot to state medical boards. Tell us briefly about how that partnership came about and what the exam means to you. Well, as you know, Hank, the partnership with the Federation goes back to the very beginning of both organizations. In fact, one of the founders and longtime leaders of the Federation, Walter Beering, also served as president of the NBME from 1927 to 1930. And so the, the relationship between the NBME focused on providing a standardized, high-quality assessment for licensure for all states to use. And the Federation has something that's, that's sort of in our DNA from the beginning of both organizations. The exams uh, in the 19... Uh, 80s, um, the National Board Certifying Exam was available for graduates of U.S. medical schools and was used by most U.S. graduates as their, their um, credential for obtaining an initial license to practice medicine. But international graduates were not eligible, and most took an alternate exam called the FLEX, the Federation Licensing Exam, which the NBME and the Federation had formed as a collaboration in the 1960s and co-sponsored thereafter. Um, but international graduates in the 1980s um, asserted that a separate but equal model for qualification for licensure in the United States was not the American way. And agreeing with that assertion, the Federation and the National Board partnered in the late 1980s to create in 1991 the USMLE program by merging the FLEX exam and the, US, the NBME certifying exam. And by the way, the additional examination, the Foreign Medical Graduate Examination in the Medical Sciences, which was required for international graduates to qualify for certification by the Educational Commission on Foreign Medical Graduates. So the three exams merged into the USMLE, which was the first exams were delivered in 1992, it was fully implemented by 1994, and now serves as a single unified common standard, not separate but equal, but the same exam, the same standards, the same approach, for all those seeking licensure uh, in the United States. 
take out your crystal ball for a moment and tell us where you see uh, your organization, the NBME, and the USMLE program years from now. Well, I think clearly the, the continuous evolution of trying to find this, the way to externally audit independently in a standardized, statistically valid manner. At a point in time. At a point in time or perhaps continuously. The, the competencies that are essential to good, medi- good and safe and effective medical practice. And there are, we're working on those. We've added, as I just described, those over time. We're constantly working to find new ways to assess competencies that aren't well established. Very good. Thank you so much, Don, for being with us. I really appreciate you taking the time out to talk with us. Well, thank you, Hank. It's been my great privilege to, to be able to share my thoughts with you. And I'd like to just take this moment to thank all of the viewers who are involved in state medical licensing authorities for their long trust of the NBME, for the faith they put in the products that we, uh, we develop, and for your collaboration with us over the many years, as well as your individual service to protect America's patients. Thank you, Don. Thank you for joining us. Stay well and see you next time.